Um, if we look at the top view, we can easily extract the walls by fitting lines to the sort of clusters of points. So here we show we see the, the blue lines and the red line and the green lines are the sort of extracted lines that we got that fit those points. Um, that allows us to sort of cluster that point cloud into a set of walls. And then we can look at each wall individually and use basically create an occupancy grid um, sort of frontal view representation, which we can then use sort of binary image segmentation techniques to extract the actual window itself. Um, and so once we have the position of the window, we can uh, do the window enter. Um, we saw that uh, similar thing in the video earlier, but here it is again. Um, these are the sort of raw laser points that we detect. We, the little pink thing um, detects the window, and then we fly through. Um, so once inside, we transition to the explore state, where we, you know, we start with the partial map built by the SLAM using the SLAM algorithm. We sample points near frontiers, which are you know, the boundaries between explored space and unexplored space. That's not a boundary blocked by sort of occupied space, which are walls. Um, we then plan the path to the lowest cost frontier, and we basically just iterate to uh, progressively build our map larger and explore the entire environment. Um, one, one tricky thing with this is that some of these frontiers just aren't reachable. So for example, in the bottom left and the bottom right, there's some frontiers that are in space that's been blocked by obstacles. And so while the laser sort of was able to peek through and you saw a big open area that looks like it would be really nice to explore, you can't actually get there. Um, so we prune these sort of spurious frontiers um, using a uh, modification of sort of Dijkstra's algorithms um, to compute sort of the cost map of the entire um, area. Um, and once we've finished, or uh, while we're exploring, we're sort of constantly trying to investigate and find the LED. Um, as several of the other teams have done, we use a uh, you know, color camera, we search the region for um, you know, bright portion of the image with high blue content, low green content. We prune candidates with incorrect ratio, width to height, or have incorrect size. Um, and we integrate over time to uh, uh, you know, actually make the final detection. Um, and then one sort of final check that we do to just make sure that we are getting very good um, detections is that we use the range estimate from the laser in a calibrated camera model to actually project the LED into the real world. So as you can see here, that little green thing on the right is the actual detected LED in the world. It was up on the wall over there. Um, and we don't actually make a final detection until we are within uh, sort of usable range uh, to be 100% sure that what we're actually seeing is the LED. Um, so once we made that final decision, we um, basically just transitioned to the found LED state, we published the image to the judges, and we went. Um, so in conclusion, we employed a combination of careful hardware and software design to develop a complete system that's able to both fly and accurately and stably in small confined spaces, as well as explore and, uh, you know, uh, plan paths in large-scale environments. Um, to do this, it was critical to use this hierarchical um, software uh, design where we match the algorithm speed with the MAV requirements. And so, in all, we feel that we've developed a very capable system and are excited to see how it's able to do in the competition tomorrow. Um, in the future, we would like to explore ways to do more general 3D mapping and planning. So we're doing a little bit of 3D obstacle avoidance, uh, but we're not actu our actual map representation is 2D, so we would like to move more towards building complete 3D maps that we could plan in. We'd also like to explore higher level planning algorithms that allow us to you know, semantically understand the environment and do more sort of high level AI tasks with the helicopter platform. And that is it. Any questions?